bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Lisa Aprati and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Mariana Osoria, Director for Family Focus with United Way Latino Initiative. Today we'll be talking about the new initiative. Mariana, great to have you on the program. Well, thanks for having me. So I understand that you were awarded, um, you were a recipient of the Latino Initiative grant for the Cicero Youth Task Force and you were actually one of four agencies that were awarded. Tell me about the award and, and how it's going to impact the community. Well, the Latino Initiative is a, is a new initiative of the United Way, and what they're really looking specifically at is how do we help young people and communities to um, overcome challenges and barriers. And the Cicero Youth Task Force, which I am a member of, Family Focus is a member of, mm -hmm. was one of the applicants, and we were lucky enough to get the award. Um, and what we do in, in the Cicero Youth Task Force is uh, many, many orga organizations, eight lead agencies that applied for the grant and we have actually um, set up meetings uh, around the town of Cicero that will ask questions to not only the service providers but actual youth, actual parents, um, town leaders are involved in that whole process, uh, nonprofit organizations, all of the stakeholders that really have an impact in Cicero town and we're looking at not only the youth um, that we're targeting mm -hmm. which are 13 to 21 year olds but we're really looking at the whole town as a whole and how can we come together and the way we're looking at that is identifying three things right what is our dream for the town of Cicero we're asking questions through visioning sessions about what do we hope for Cicero in the next 10 or 20 years what is the design what is that supposed to look like so as opposed to the organization saying these are the steps mm -hmm. we're asking the community tell us what the steps are for successful Cicero town and then finally the destiny. Where are we going? What are we going to have? How did the dreaming and the design come together to form the destiny where ultimately we hope that youth in Cicero will be able to be successful, mm -hmm. to strive, um, and to fulfill the dreams of their parents and the whole community. So since this is a new uh, initiative and uh, the grant was awarded to the Cicero Youth Task Force, is the grant um, a two-year, three-year? How does that work? Well, it's a three-year grant. We're currently in our second year. The first year was that whole visioning process. Okay. that I talked about and we gather all the information and this second year is the implement implementation process and some of the things that we've already done for example mm -hmm. is in the town of Cicero there if you walk into the town hall you will see a beautiful mural there and that mural is as a result of um, an artist that's from Cicero that worked with Cicero youth uh, his name is Milton Coronado and he worked with youth to, to do that mural and not only did is the mural there but youth were painting that mural while people came in and did their town business um, many people were that's able to great. see Latino youth engaging mm -hmm. in positive activities so that's one thing another thing that we're trying to do is um, do sort of like an AmeriCorps program in mm -hmm. Cicero where we will have a fellowship program where we will identify youth leaders and parent leaders they'll get training work within the community of Cicero ultimately they might get some college credits um, to be able to use that to be able to get other opportunities in Cicero. So those are a couple of the, the things that we're currently implementing. Okay, so there's, are there activities that are taking place on a regular basis that the youth know this is exactly where I need to be if I'm to, to get something done? Yes, and so those eight organizations that are part of right. this project are some of those places that they can go. Okay. And in addition to that, there are Cicero Youth Task Force meetings where we consistently relook at what our visioning process has been, where we need to continue to in improve or add additional programming. So there are opportunities right now for youth development, youth leadership, and kids are taking advantage of that, That's and wonderful. so are youth. It's um, parents, and it's really exciting. So, so is there? It's a large group right now, as far as you know. We've had over 300 parents, children, um, community residents be involved in that process. Okay, well, yeah. I so appreciate you coming on and talking to about the Latino Initiative and with the Cicero Youth Task Force. Obviously, you're doing a great job making a huge impact in the community, so thank you so much. Oh, you're I welcome. I wish you the best on it. Well, thank you so much. This hour's newsmaker has been Mariana Osoria. I'm Lisa Aprati, and thank you for joining us on this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. The preceding was a presentation of Comcast Newsmakers. Now, back to headline news.